Hello Bean and welcome to a new video. Some of you might remember these characters over here. If you are new on this channel, don't worry, I will explain to you. And thanks for tuning in by the way. So these are characters my community designed by voting and sharing their ideas for a character in my story. These are community characters, so to speak. And since this was a lot of fun, I wanted to do that again. So here we are. And in this video I will share all of these ideas. And now let's get right into the character design process. The first vote was about what type of character you want to see and the options were full human or a hybrid with either tech, mythology or an animal. And most of you voted for the mythology hybrid. Two persons actually had the same thought with Medusa so this is what I will be going for but maybe the bird will also find its place somewhere. Next up was the vibe of the character and I'm very excited for the villain vibes you decided on. Maybe I will still go in the crazy insane direction since this was the second most chosen option. Then I asked for the color palettes and you gave me four of those. First is saturated colors, then muted warm colors, red and purple or at last red and black. I let you choose again between these categories and it's clear that you want to see a red color palette with maybe a little bit of purple in it. Speaking of colors, I also asked you what skin and hair color the character should have. You couldn't really decide on the skin color, so it will probably be a middle ground between natural and unnatural. But when it comes to the hair, you're sure that it should be colorful hair, possibly even with several colors. Coming back to that villain thing real quick, you want to see either weapons on our character or magical powers, which I would prefer because of the mythology background. I will also think about some kind of armor, the kind that Greeks wore, like this person said. I think this could be very interesting. The next question was the gender and you have agreed that they will not have a specific one and that they will look androgynous but slightly more female representing, which I like a lot. The question about style and aesthetic was pretty close, but in the end fancy came out on top. Maybe I will add a few gothic elements here and there because I think that would fit the character really well, especially with the color palette of red and black. For accessories and tattoos some of you had the idea of pierced ears, triangular shades and a back slash neck tattoo and I will see what I can do with that. As for the hair, you want to see a long hairstyle. These are the more specific answers to that and these are Akuma and Bakugo by the way. I don't quite know what direction it will go in yet but I will try to design a cool hairstyle that fits the character, especially if there really will be snakes involved. So here you can see the list of things you have voted for and this will also be the base of the character design for me. I will try to implement all of these ideas but I can't promise that it will work out in the end. Before designing I will now look up some references on Pinterest and create a mood board for our character. Oh and before I forget it, we have these two name suggestions, Dorothea and Hecate or Hecate, which happens to be the Greek goddess of magic, the mist, crossroads, necromancy, the night and the moon. And she's most often shown holding a pair of torches, a key or snakes like our character, or is accompanied by dogs. And since I was thinking about some magical power with light or fire for her, I think this name and background story is a great fit with the torches. But you can still give me more name suggestions in the comments, so this is not said yet and I will not like design the character after this name now. But I think it is a pretty pretty cool name and I like that there is this Greek goddess that is pretty similar to the character that we design here. So based on the mood board I first sketched some basic ideas to get a feel for the character and I think I was most afraid of the color palette because red is the color I work with the least I think. But we will see how that will work out. Spoiler not well. <laughs> but I got the first sketches done really quickly and also had this idea with the one snake holding a lantern. The idea behind it is that our character, inspired by Hecate because I like the background story of this goddess, is responsible for the transition between life and death and the lantern helps them to find the way for the dead people. And I also had the idea that they are like a firebender but cannot create fire, which is why they always carry a flame with them. Don't ask me why, but I decided to draw two pictures of them. One where you see 
the front and the outfit and one over the shoulder to show their tattoo on the back and I don't know why I put so much work into this because you can definitely see how much I struggled with the first pose and also as I feared with the color palette I couldn't decide on a skin color but I thought the blue gray was quite cool because it reflects the undead that they are supposed to look like but I have to admit that I had a lot of problems with my graphics tablet, with Clip Studio Paint and the brushes and I couldn't really get into the drawing process. So I got desperate and gave up. Just kidding. I've sent the sketches to my iPad and will now try to realize them better there and I've tried a few more designs that I'm much happier with and hope that these versions will now feel much better in terms of coloring and designing our character. Restarting the design on iPad was the best decision. You can probably see how much more comfortable I felt with it. I made faster progress and the proportions and colors didn't give me as much trouble. I also reworked the hairline so that the snakes grow out of the head more like horns, which I think is definitely more fitting and interesting, especially with the mythology background, don't you think? I went for a fancy suit outfit with an open shirt to emphasize the androgynous look and because the color palette is red and black I designed it completely dark. The keys are again inspired by the goddess Hecate who is often depicted with them and I've also included the piercings and earrings. I was still struggling with the lighting at first but with the help of a friend and layer modes I got it right in the end. Besides there's nothing a little chromatic aberration can't fix. <laughs> I decided to use purple light instead of red to make the villain character stand out more and in the end I'm super happy with how the design turned out. In the second drawing I focus particularly on the pose that is supposed to show Hecate's back tattoo. The shirt has slipped down quite accidentally of course and in my opinion the look over the shoulder is more like a villain who is about to cast a spell over you and that is exactly what I wanted to achieve with this character. The tattoo consists of a sun and a moon which is perhaps a little difficult to recognize but it represents the transition between life and death where people fall victim to Hecate. This picture is also more of a portrait and shows more of the face and details, including the snakes. Here it was definitely easier with the colors and the lights as I could simply take everything from the first drawing. I really like the way the light falls on the back and the face here. I used a 3D model of a face to help me with it because I wouldn't have managed that alone and here you can now see the second version of our character and I hope that you like it as much as I do. I'm really much in love with this one. And now please, please, please let me know in the comments what you think of our design, of your ideas and how good I implemented them and if I could meet your expectations. I mean, I met my own expectations. There were also a lot of super good ideas that I would have liked to include, such as the weapons or armor that didn't make it into the design because I didn't want to overdo it. So I can understand if you would have preferred to see other ideas or a totally different design. But now you have the chance because just like the other community characters, I will also be hosting a Draw This In Your Style with this one, with Hecate. You can find it on my Instagram account and to take part, you just have to paint Hecate in your style and tag me so I can find your version. I'm super excited to see your realizations of our character and would also love to do a video of me reacting to your paintings. Now grab a pencil and get creative with it. I am stoked to see what you are coming up with. And until then, until the next video, I wish you the best. Have a good one, Bean. Stay creative and stay healthy. I will see you soon in one of my next videos. Bye bye, Bean.